everyone, so two things. Yes, I am suffering from a bad case of the bed hair, so I've tried to distract you with a bold lip. I think this is the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Damned, so hopefully that is working. Number two, this is completely different. I have never done a haul focusing on this before because today I'm not going to talk about beauty or fashion or homey things. I'm going to talk about fitness things because if you've been reading my blog or it's been kind of peppered in videos here and there, I think I did a fitness routine video a few months back. I will link that below, but I've been getting more into fitness and just really enjoying it, which is weird. I never thought that would happen. I've recently even joined a gym. I mean, who am I? <laughs> so today I'm going to show you some clothing bits I picked up recently and also a Whole Foods haul at the end, because if you're anything like me, Whole Foods is just this magical place that you just love going round. I just can't help myself but to overfill my basket in there. It is just a place that healthy foodie dreams are made of. First up, the clothing, and I think the first thing that I wanna show you is this t-shirt, which is from a website called Fascia Size, which I honestly think is one of my most visited websites at the moment. <laughs> you know when you go on Safari and it comes up with your most frequently visited websites, it's basically top, I think even more than Twitter, because I cannot stop looking at it. If you need some motivation, or you want some healthy recipes, or workout ideas, or playlist ideas, Everything is there, and then they also have this shop where I picked up this and a few other bits a few months ago, which I think I showed in that previous video. But I'm in love with this t-shirt. It is from a company called Olympia, and it's a really nice top to wear to the gym. It's very light, it's very airy. I kind of like the cut of it. It's quite low at the front, but not too revealing, and it's so nice that I've even been wearing it just even when I'm not working out, which is what their website is all about. It's all about workout gear that doesn't necessarily look like workout gear, and I love it, so check that out if you haven't already. Then I headed to good old Nike, which I just, again, big fan of Nike. Most of my running stuff comes from them because I just find it fits well, I know what my size is so I can just go in there and not even have to try stuff on. It's good quality and it's very comfortable, which is probably the most important thing. So one of the things that I picked up is this, a little reflective hairband. Now that should help with my uh, bad hair day. <laughs> that's the look. <laughs> But I thought I would get this because it's getting really dark in the mornings here and this is very reflective, it's going to be good in those dark mornings, so even if I'm wearing an all black outfit, which hopefully I won't because you'll see another purchase later on, it will help me to stand out. Speaking of that purchase, I'm not sure I've ever bought something this bright in my life. Are you ready for this? Fluorescent highlighter yellow, I don't think there's another way to describe it, it's even got a hood. I will insert a picture of me in here. But again, as I was saying, the mornings are dark and I need something very bright to wear just for safety reasons. I saw this as part of the Nike dry fit range, which I am a huge fan of because I'm very sweaty Betty, but even in this stuff, it makes me warm, but it also kind of makes me quite cool at the same time and it just helps me not to feel like too damp. <laughs> it goes quite low as well, so it kind of covers your bum a bit, which will keep me warmer in those winter months. And then the other things that I picked up were more because I've been getting into yoga recently. Yoga with Adrian on YouTube has become like a morning ritual for me. And I've never really felt that way about yoga before. I always thought I was more of a Pilates girl. But I do like the whole yoga thing and the breathing and the stretching, even though I can't even touch my toes, let alone do downward dog. But I'm trying and I can sort of see that the more that I'm doing it, the better I'm getting at it, even though... Yep, still can't touch my toes. So I thought I would pick up a few bits for those because there is a yoga class I want to go to as well. And the rest of my clothing is quite running based. So I fancy picking up some more relaxed yoga bits. The first thing is this black top that's again from the dry fit range. And all of my other tops are quite like baggy t-shirty. And when I was doing some insanity classes, which involved some like burpy action and like on the floor stuff, I realized I was just flashing the people in the row behind me like a complete view up my chest. So I thought, although I'm not a big fan of really figure hugging things, I thought it would be quite handy because at least when I'm doing downward dog, I'm not gonna flash my sports bra to anyone. But the thing that I'm probably the most excited about, and I think Mark genuinely thought that it was a joke that I had bought these, but it's really not. They are like MC, hammer pants. I will insert a clip of me wearing this combination here, but they are the most comfortable things <laughs> ever. And they are very stretchy. They've got a very nice kind of slightly snow leopardy look 
going on and they're really comfortable and when I'm doing my yoga -y moves I can do all of them in these. I'm genuinely going to have to stop myself from wearing those as pyjamas. Then the final thing I picked up from Nike was a pair of trainers because although I've got my Nike Free Run 5.0s which are now discontinued, they've bought out another model of them. I tend to wear them more just every day, they're not really a gym specific shoe. So I thought I would pick up a really bright pair of trainers that are more just for the gym and just for kind of training and classes and the odd bit of cardio and resistance training here and there. How cool are these? Bright peach and purple was never a combination I ever thought I would have in a shoe, but I <laughs> love these. I'll tell you the model name of them. They are the Nike Free TR Fit 4s. They come in lots of different colours, but these were just my favourite ones and they are so... <laughs> Just whip myself around the face there. They are so comfortable, really light, like seriously, seriously light. So just good for general gym stuff. A final clothingy bit was this. It's from Deal Gadgets. I picked it up from Amazon. I think it was around four or five pounds, which is an absolute bargain. Because I recently got the iPhone 6. My phone was due an upgrade around the same time that a new iPhone came out. That never happened, so I was very happy about that. But then it meant that my iPhone didn't fit into the uh, holder that I had. So I picked this one up and I have no complaints really. For a very cheap piece of kit, it gets the job done and it feels very comfortable on my arm. So if you've recently upgraded and are looking for a new one, then I would highly recommend this. A piece of gear that I got for my birthday, oh, that is heavy, is this. My sister got me this actually, and it is a kettlebell. It's a four kilogram one because I am a bit wimpy and that's all I can really handle at the moment. But it's a very cool piece of kit. I've been getting a lot of use out of this. If you've got one and you don't know what video to use, I suggest the kettle tone one that the Tone It Up girls recently put up. It is very good. It incorporates a lot of kettlebell work and it really works every single muscle of your body. Plus it's, it's just more fun. It's just more fun to do a bit of that, you know? Yeah, that's enough of <laughs> that. <laughs> right, on to the Whole Foods haul, and I did pick these bits up quite a while ago now, so there are some things that are just eaten, they're gone, I just couldn't wait to eat them, so they're already gone, we won't worry about those. I thought I would give you a mini review of some of the things I've tried already, because there were some things I've tried that I will definitely be picking up again, and there were others that were just slightly not to my taste. <laughs> I feel like we should start with that. That's the Koyo Coconut Milk Yogurt. I picked up a few of these, I've got two left. And they are nice, I can eat them, I can digest them, it's cool. But I just found the taste of these a bit strange. They're all kinds of good for you. There's no added sugar, which is great. Um, I've been mixing these with like a fruit compote, it's the best way that I found them. Whenever I have them with cereal, it just seems a bit too coconutty and it doesn't really go with like the granola that I've got or whatever. So I would suggest having these with some kind of fruit and they are good. These are good. These are the Biona Organic Almond and Pumpkin Seed Cookies. Whenever I go to Whole Foods I find myself picking up some of them more like sweet snacks because I, I feel like if they're from Whole Foods then they're not as bad. I'm sure that's not the case at all but I just <laughs> makes me think that way anyway. So these are very good, a nice little treat. These were incredible. The Organic Amisa spelt poppy and sunflower seed crisp breads. Incredible, there was quite a few in here and from Whole Foods I picked up some pumpkin seed hummus that was so good, that's already gone. I would definitely have shown you that, that was amazing. So if ever you're going past Whole Foods and you just need a bit of a snack, pick up some of these crisp breads and that hummus because that was a really good lunchtime that day. The other thing that I love to pick up from Whole Foods, I like the little protein bar section, like the bounce bars and the naked bars, all those kinds of things. And I picked up some new ones this time. I picked up the Pulsin Vanilla Choc Chip Protein Snack and the Maple and Peanut Protein Snack. Haven't eaten these yet, but I will let you know what I think, I'm sure in a vlog or somewhere down the line. And then I actually kept the packaging for this one. <laughs> I've eaten this, but it was so good, I thought I need to tell people about this. It is the Go Macro Macro Bar Protein Replenishment Peanut Butter. This was so good. This was actually incredible. And the good thing with these is they're amazing just like throwing a bag. I'm a person, I like to eat, I like snacks, I always get hungry wherever I am. So these are really good just for like throwing a bag and be able to eat on the go. And this one especially, I will definitely be going back and picking up more of these. Now I feel like I've saved the best till last here. And if you've watched Lily Pebbles' videos, you would have seen her talk about this. It is the Chi 100% Natural Chocolate Coconut Milk. Wow, this stuff 
is absolutely <laughs> incredible. If you're a big fan of like chocolate milkshake and you like coconuts as well, even though to me this tastes very much like chocolate and not very much like coconut, you will love these. They are so good. So there you have it. Bit of a random one, but it's nice to mix it up sometimes. And fitness is really something that I'm getting into. So if you want to see more things, let me know. And I feel like, especially in the new year, when my half marathon comes up, there will definitely be more fitness related content on the blog and on here. So I hope you're up for that. One thing I'm very excited about is I'm very excited for Thursday's video. Me and Mark filmed it yesterday and I think you're gonna like it. Let's just say capsule wardrobe, autumn maybe, filmed by Mark, which means it's, you know, it's gonna be good. So I really hope you enjoy that as well. I hope you've had a good weekend and I'll see you soon. Bye.